Good afternoon, evening, or whatever. If you're clicking on this video, I'm assuming you're like me, and you have an interest in stocks and investing. I'm also assuming you're like me in regards to your age. Generation Z is what I'm talking about. And this is specifically marketed towards Generation Z because we, as a generation, need to get involved in the stock market. We need to have some control before these baby boomers run it all under the ground. Okay? So that's why I started my little series right here, my Minecraft and investment series. Where we'll be playing Minecraft and talking about investments. Big flipping shocker. Okay. Episode one. Let's begin. What is a stock? So, stocks are an ancient thing. They go back to ancient Mesopotamia, and it essentially meant you'd have an organization, and you'd say, hey, I'll give you a little piece of my organization if you, in return, give me some money for that piece. And then when that piece grows and accumulates value, then you'll get that growth and accumulation of value. And then maybe you'll be able to sell that piece for a higher uh, amount of money than you bought it from later on. And modern stocks, as we know, originate from the Dutch East India Company. This is really what formulated the stock market as we know it, because what they do is they'd offer these pieces of themselves, of the company, to the public, not just to specific individuals. And if you bought in to fund their voyages, then you get some profit in return, right? So in modern times, a stock is a minute share of a company that appreciates in value alongside the company. This means it's a tiny stake of ownership over the company's assets and earnings and gives way to things like appreciation of the fractional ownership as the company grows, dividends, and if enough stocks are owned, voting rights. And when I say enough, I mean a lot. You need a bunch of stocks to gain corporate control. So let me give you an example. A share of Tesla currently trades for $404. There are 3.33 billion shares of Tesla on the market. So when you buy a share of Tesla, you get one 3.33 billionth share of the company, which can go up or down depending on the company's performance, right? If Tesla's selling a lot of, a lot of vehicles, then your share is going to go up. And eventually, you can sell it and gain more money. Doesn't that sound beautiful? Right, so these shares of companies are traded at public stock exchanges like the New York Stock Exchange or the South African Stock Exchange during certain trading hours, depending on where it is located. Pre-internet days, this would look like a bunch of sweaty men getting in a room and arguing and saying, oh, I'll give you this if you give me that and I'll sell this, blah, blah, blah. Now, of course, we have online trading tools Although the exchanges like the NAS, no, not the, uh, okay, doesn't matter. Things are the same, it's just online. All right, well, that's it. That's it for episode one. That's what a stock is. So I'll see you later. And as always, happy investing.